Yeah, no Yerba today? No Yerba. Damn. Okay, I still got my cup of joe. Oh, okay. Where, where did that oh, phrase you... come from? Cup of but, joe? Yeah, like what is that? What, what's joe? How does that mean coffee? I don't know. I don't even want to guess. Was it some <laughs> guy named Joe? Jo- Joe, Joe Schmo? A Joe. box of Joe. Right? That's like a box of coffee beans or some shit, right? Bro, oh. what the fuck? That's for real. Who and that sounds like that? that sounds like American too. And coffee wasn't originated in America, right? Hell no. Hell no. Nah. That shit was um the fucking Willy Wonka originated that shit, bro. <laughs> when they got the cocoa beans. <laughs> <laughs> the Oopa Loopas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the JoJo's. <laughs> Yo, what if all Yo. the names were Joe? Oh my nah. god. Hey. Nah. Welcome back to different scripts, guys. Uh back in our yeah. bedrooms. We're already here. Um yeah, back on Zoom. Uh, you know, you know, sometimes you don't need to meet up every time. Yeah, it's the beauty it's of the beauty difficult. of technology and the beauty that I think that's something that everyone kind of realized that like you don't need to be in person every time, even though it's very nice, bro. Especially the pandemic, like yeah. you really learned it. Classes, jobs, exactly. this shit, like Zoom, everything's yeah. you do it from your home. Uh, let's get into. I want to talk about this little Nas video real quick. Lil Nas? Okay, wait. Yeah. Yeah. At, at me... least first. Yeah. First? Unless you want right, some... okay. No, no, no. no. What, do you, what do you want to say first? Nah, because this is important. And this has been on my heart. Yo, RIP Claude, fam. This, this is all for Claude, yo. For Who's those Claude? of you who don't know. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> Claude's just basically... You know AFTV, right? Like, the Arsenal fan TV. The shit, like, I always watch. No. It's just basically, like, like, a right, YouTube so... channel where, like, Arsenal fans just came together. Like, this is one dude called Robbie. And he just... Um, he started interviewing like fans after the game, and it got okay. huge. Like the internet just ate that shit up. They like changed the game of like fan TV, like interaction. On, like, yeah, on like social media and shit. Like they okay. changed the game. And then there's this is one dude who was just like just mad old like London guy who just be getting mad tight every time Arsenal loses, which is like a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he'd be like, he, like his famous catchphrase was like, "It's time to go." Like he said it with a mad deep accent and shit. And yeah, he recently died. Damn. But that's... like, and there's like so like there's like a whole story with him because like he said some like racist shit on like a live stream. It wasn't even right. that bad, but we'll get into that in a second. He's like already mad old, and like before the whole like social media thing started, he was like going through like depression, mad like health problems and stuff. Damn. So like, this was like an outlet for him. Arsenal was like his life, like literally. Like oh, okay, I see what you're saying. No, like you yeah. seem like I'm passionate. But like, right. like this was like literally his life. Like he grew Yo, up there. What is it about? I feel like it have it's more apparent with soccer, football, wherever you're from. Like that, like that intensity of the fandom. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I feel like with most sports, whatever team, like you have your diehards. Don't mm-hmm. get me like you know, there's a bunch out there. But I feel like with football, especially soccer, whatever, like. If you're a fan, you either are a fan and you are in that shit, yeah. or you're just a casual foot fan as it is, like football fan as it is. Bro, I, I, mean? I like look at Jamie sometimes and I just get tight, bro. I'm like, what the right. fuck are you, bro? And that's like, your boy. You feel me? Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. Barely. <laughs> like, nah. what do you think it is about that? I mean, yo, if you want to get like specific, that's a good question. That's a very good question. I feel like if you want to get like a specific answer, I don't know. One thing is like, what is Yo, it for America- you? What is it for you? I don't even think this is it, but like in American sports, like the teams like switch like every fucking like, like they switch so easily. We're like the teams well, are the players and, and like the, the teams players. are on. Okay. The players. But like the teams yeah. could also like, yo, you had like the fucking uh, the Supersonics move to Seattle or like Oklahoma mm-hmm. and then they got changed to the Thunder. Like that's like some stupid, like not stupid, but like it's that hard happens. to get, it's hard to like create like a, a bond. If your team could literally just mm-hmm. get up and leave. Mm-hmm. And also, like, if a player could just leave your team mad easily. Right. Especially with player power now. Like, I'm, I'm mainly talking about basketball because that's, like, the, yeah. the American sport I follow. But it happens. But, like, let's say if a big player wants to leave a big team in Joga, yeah. that's, like, that's mad hard to do. And it's going to break mad news. Mm-hmm. And it's going to break, like, mad boundaries. It's not like it's, like, they, like, leave easy willy. I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, also, the idea of a player even going to a whole different country to play 
mm-hmm. just doesn't happen as much with the other. You, a lot of people will come to the States to play, mm-hmm. but it's not the other way around as much where in, in Joga, I feel like every, you know, David Beckham is probably one of the most, uh, high profile soccer players there is. And he played in yeah. LA, right? Like, mm-hmm. and he's British. So like that type, you know, and before that he played in Spain, he played in Italy, exactly. Spain and France. It's way more international. So it, it's like, yeah, it's, it's just, way more of a, deci- like a heavier decision because you're mm-hmm. literally picking up your life and going across the globe as opposed to going to a different state. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I don't know. Shit just means something like, yo, it's like footies is different. It's also got a way longer history than most sports. Uh-huh. And, and like that history obviously builds. Because if you're like, if you're straight from the city of that club, mm-hmm. like that's all you know. You're a hero, yeah. Yeah, like, you oh yeah, it. if you play for the team, but like if you're yeah, just like yeah. a fan, like you just go to the pubs and like just next to the stadium. Right. You're still like a part of the legacy and the everything. Right. I don't know, it's just like that. It's just like that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. But yeah, rest like, in peace, Claude. Yeah, because if you like go to like, um, oh yeah, no, 100%. If you go to like a uh, River Plate, Boca Junior, uh, Derby, mm-hmm. that's just in Argentina, bro. People like die like every time they play. Damn, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it's straight, like, it's like <laughs> you're just expected to like, die, like, have like one casualty at least for that derby. That's wild. That's a <laughs> wild concept. I don't, I don't know if the, that's the <laughs> average, or, like, one person dies per, per, per right. game, but like, people have died and people have like it's, it's, it's expected more than not expected. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Which yeah. is fucked. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah. No, but back to Claude. So basically, this was his life. Like, Arsenal was his life. Mm -hmm. And he made, like, some joke about, like, so, like, there's this Asian player. It was, like, Arsenal v. Tottenham, which is the biggest game for us. Yeah, oh, I I know that. I know (laughs) There you go. So, like, Tottenham had, like, this uh, Korean player, Mad Nice, Son. He came off. He was getting subbed off. And then Claude said um, uh, he won't be selling DVDs no more, I guess. And, like, that's, like, that could be interpreted in two ways. Yeah. That could be interpreted in a couple ways. That Asians be yeah. like selling DVDs on the street. I guess that happens. Uh, or two, it's like Tottenham. Always, whenever they do something nice, they have like a DVD, even though they got no trophies. They'd be like, yo, mm. we finished like third place. Let's make a DVD mm-hmm. about it. So like that could be a, one of the jokes too. And that's not racist or nothing. That's just banter. No, no, that's just... So we don't even know what you meant. And my thing is that everyone in the room in their live stream mm. laughed when he said that too. Mm. And then the next day, uh, Robbie, the dude who's like runs that shit, he probably saw all the hate comments. He probably, uh, his business partners were like, yo, this guy has to go. Like, he can't be talking like that, blah, blah, blah. What, when you first heard it, and what do you think when they first heard it in the room? Which interpretation? I mean, when you, I, when I was going through it, their head, yeah. When I heard it, I didn't th- think much of it. And when they heard it, everyone laughed. Everyone in the room literally laughed. So, how are you? more uh how you less like um accountable than he is also right. this dude's like fucking 58 years old right it, uh, like yeah. some shit like it his joke didn't like harm anyone he didn't like actually say anything like like awful about that person mm-hmm. even at like yo my thing is like he should have just came out made an apology video and that's it it's in the it's in the script but I'm, uh, I, yeah I, it's a that's interesting that you bring up the the two ways to look at it. Cause the first thing I thought of was the racist one, the, mm-hmm. the stereotype selling DVDs on the street. But I don't even know about that other one. The, exactly. Have so an like, highlight DVD. Yeah. So it's, it's in the air. And when you're making the joke within the fandom of people that do know that that can mean the, this non-offensive thing, I guess. Yeah. It's when you're, it's when you're outside looking in. Uh, uh-huh. and like, my thing is like cancel culture is like kind of fucked because mm-hmm. are we willing to risk a man's life just to cancel him? Well, let me are we okay you, with he, that? Did he die from natural uh, causes or uh, what happened? Okay. Like he, I mean, yeah, I think he died from like natural causes, but like there was like reports or like some people saying that he didn't like take his meds just because he didn't want to. There's like literally a tweet of him. Cause like his, his mother died, like I think within like the last like year or two. Okay. Or maybe like three years. And like that shit, like, this was 58 years old. Like, that's pretty oh, young. He's not old. 
He's not that you, old, right? You were talking him up like he was 80 something. I thought, no, 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 exactly. But like, he gave that persona, bro. Yeah, he could have easily been 80. <laughs> He's an old soul, yeah, yeah like, yeah. So, 58 oh, mad, no. mad young that, to die, bro. My, my dad's so like close, to, my, you know, what my I mean? dad's like, older, my, my parents be close to that, yeah, exactly, yeah, <laughs> bro. Like, yeah, so it's like, do you want to do you want to cancel him? Oh, because his mom died, his mom died, and that should like hit him. He literally came out with a tweet saying, like. Yo, since you guys got me kicked out the channel, now I'm gonna join my mom soon or something like that. Bro. Oh, yo, what? The... Like some, he said something like that's that. That's sus. not word for word. That's some. Mm. And like, I just feel bad. No, nah, yeah, that's horrible. And because he's one like the OGs of a uh, fan of like the fan game on social media. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it just sucks. Like just. Saying a little thing could like ruin, like canceling mm-hmm. someone for a little thing could just ruin their lives. And I'm not yeah. saying he died because of that. Maybe he would have still died, but like, yeah, I don't know. Just... Well, let me move it on to another dude who's going through some stuff that I think the public's opinion is a little mixed on right now. DMX. Oh, yeah. uh, oh going okay. through okay. it. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm I not. Didn't... We'll get into that, but because no, <laughs> that, yeah, that's also <laughs> that also applies. But DMX, yeah, uh, he's, he's going uh, through it right now. He's hospitalized, right? Yeah. He yeah. was on the verge of death. Damn. I don't think this is the first time that he's been on the verge of death. Damn. For similar... The guy's had a history of uh, drug issues. Obviously. I think we. I think that's the whole thing of DMX. Yo, even without yeah. the drugs, bro, man has felt the highest of highs, bro. You know, like... Remember the lowest that, of lows. <laughs> well, yeah, there you go. Remember that yeah. concert he did like in front of like half the world? Yeah. Where, no, <laughs> the just... guy's a fucking superstar. Like... Bro, we owe him apology for not picking a uh, Rough Riders anthem for the <laughs> the anthem it's of the true. US. It really is. no. It really should have been. Yeah, and like, <sighs> yeah, no. Guy's a legend. I really, I don't know what his current state is. Uh, last I heard, he's kind of brain dead, but he's alive. Goddamn. Um, yeah. Who knows what's gonna happen? Wait, him. so he's like on life support right now? They took him off life support, and he's breathing on his own. Okay. But, but he's I don't dead. know if he's a vegetable or not. Damn. Yeah. I mean, oh, I was shit. there were there were some rip DMXs going around before anything was confirmed. So damn. Yeah. I mean, like that's how quick this shit circulates. Yeah. So yeah. That's just tough. Uh yeah. Let's bring it back to another rapper, which I mentioned earlier, Lil Nas X. So he released <laughs> his Call Me by Your Name Montario video, which he I re- like Thoughts? if you follow, I follow him on Twitter. I think he's he's a pretty funny tw- uh, Twitter account if you want to follow. Okay. Um, maybe not as much that, as, as he gets fan, but it's he's it's he's a guy. He's a character. Um, he re- he re- t- like teased this song like a year ago. This this one. The yeah, this song is not like you know like it's a very, I guess anticipated song, but then the video comes the out. Video. Yeah. What right. they were saying that it was like anti-Semitic or something like not even no, Semitic, no, no, right? no 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 it's just it's Satanist. So, it's very yeah, saying this. That's the word, yeah. Because the whole thing is that like, and it's even in the video pretty much like he gets rejected from heaven for being gay, so mm-hmm. he kind of just embraces the the demon demonistic aspects of. Oh, he being, embraces it all right. Yeah, he, being, he embraced all of that. What? Yeah, being gay. What being what Christianity frowns upon. So, and it's funny because I did not re- like he is, is the character. He is every single character in the video. Uh, so, like, he's grinding on the devil. No, he's grinding on himself. himself. Well, dressed as the devil. Yeah, he is, like... And it's that whole thing. And, like... And, but I feel like the bigger controversy... No, maybe not the bigger controversy. But it's the... In conjunction with the video, he released this shoe. The it what? was a Nike Air Max 97. Oh, that, yeah. In collaboration with some other brand. I, I think it's Misfits. Maybe not. Uh-huh. Um... And each one had like a little drop of blood in it. It had like the Satan star. It thing. like had actual blood in it, right? Yeah, no, it was real blood. And now Nike, I think, is like suing him. They stopped the sale of the shoe. Wait, completely. Can Nike do that? Didn't he? Didn't they have a deal together? I don't know because you can. You like Nike You can sell other. Shoes. It's not illegal to have a product and then resell the product. There's a whole market on that. That's the shoe market. Uh-huh. So I don't, and you are allowed to customize shoes and sell them also. I don't see what's wrong with that. That happens all the time also. 
Um, I think this has to do more with an, like an image thing. Like, uh, yeah, that's the shoe. There you go. And I think the in the soul where the bubble would be, it's a uh, drop um, of blood. Oh, like right there. And yeah, and everything about this was actually like uh, very thought out. Like the price of the shoe was like a reference to like a Bible verse. Damn. And like there were 666 pairs or something like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 10, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Each pair. Oh, yeah, it costs 10, 18. Yeah. Wait, God I don't damn. know anything about that Jesus shoe. The what? That they're mentioned. Oh, mischief. Sorry, not misfits. Mischief. Wait, what's um, that? It's a they're a fashion brand. Mm. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I think the well the real controversy, I guess, is that he that because Old Town Road was such a fucking huge song, and that his audience tended to be younger because uh-huh. it was a not it was a it's not a kid friendly pop song though because that was his, that's his whole thing too it's like bro i literally talk about lee and <laughs> fucking people in the song in old town road like it's two lines of the song uh but i never push for my audience to be younger even though he kind of does though yeah i don't know i like once like little nods like started like t- rapping about like getting bitches and stuff and then he came out like gay next week i was like yeah. I, like I'm not invested in you as like a human. Okay. Because clearly you're you're just because clearly you're just switching up for the bag. And like that's all fine. Do you make your radio hits? Right. I'm not involved. I don't know. I I have enough respect for him just on being on Twitter and also (laughs) defending it. He's not like apologizing for anything. Oh, I like that. So big of that. Yeah. I don't think he should apologize. Like he He shouldn't at all. The whole bro, the whole thing. Have you seen the thing with Jordan Lucas? No, nah, well, Jordan Lucas was one of these uh, people tweeted out, be like, bro, like my daughter's watching this. Like, you couldn't even put a disclaimer or anything. Bruh. Like, don't worry about what I'm making. What worry about what your daughter's watching? Bruh. <laughs> yeah, are the are the YouTube comments like uh, disabled on that video? Because oh, YouTube question. be Let's doing check that right now. Let's check I, right now. I hate that shit. It's like whenever like something's like a little bit controversial, like the comments are disabled. I'm like, bro, let's have a conversation. Well, oh, we could talk about that too. So YouTube's gonna start hiding the dislike not the button. dislike button but the amount of dislikes of video game. they'll keep yeah. but they'll continue showing it if you're when you make videos there's a whole studio creator section where you get to see your stats for your videos they're still gonna show the dislike amount for you in that area it's just yeah. not to the public but and their whole reason for hiding the dislike button was for creator well-being yeah, that's stupid. But you're still showing them how many dislikes you get. It's for like, I guess like if uh, everyone sees like, yo, this ha- video has more dislikes than likes. Yeah. Let's pick on them or like blah, blah, right. blah. Like, which I think is stupid because the dislike button comes in handy so much. It's very insightful. Yeah, you could you could look at the video before you even watch it. See like right. this video has mad dislikes. Probably click. I also think it's kind of some like when... Whenever a video comes out as like the new most disliked video, it's always just like a music video or like a movie trailer or something. It's something like uh-huh. an actual a video and a real creator made. You know what I mean? Like a, like an actual YouTube creator. It's like the baby music video for Justin Bieber is like one of the big like that the longest lit, don't, dislike. Don't but it's so like that's like a fun stat to have. Like I have the most disliked video. You know what I mean? Yeah. But uh, oh, side note: uh, the comments on the "Call Me by Your Name" video are still enabled. Still going. Okay, yeah. let's go. Yeah, no, nah, I think I think he don't gotta apologize for nothing. He doesn't. And I don't think what should I say? Like, is it it is on the parent to like, you know, if you feel that your kid should be shunned from certain content, that's on you. Mm-hmm. But maybe you should also be asking your kid, why are you watching this? Like, do you like this? Why do you like this? Maybe find out why they're interested in it in the first place. Uh, it's, it's, like, it's like you saw that uh, that video of like Cardi B like playing um, what's that song the WAP, WAP song WAP yeah and then like her daughter walks in and then she like turns it off real quick that's her decision as a mother yeah I mean no I'm saying fair play but I'm just saying yeah. like it, that that was just connected yeah nah yo I feel like yo chill, like you gotta stop like putting these pressures on children well like sometimes they don't have to know how they feel just like just live right. Life. Well, that's the whole thing with like 
I don't have a child. The, the, right the, now. No, that's the whole <laughs> thing with like the gender thing. Like people are pushing to not uh, like push, uh, you know, the gender on the person, like let the kid figure it out for themselves. But like, even if your kid but, figures it out, like when they're like bro, 10, like I'm like, yeah, bro, you 10, like give your stuff eight uh, years yeah. and come back to me. Well, I'm also compl- different from that back to the whole content thing. Like I'm a, I'm coming as a kid that I was pretty much allowed to watch, listen, whatever. I was not monitored that much mm-hmm. as like, a. it was more like if my parents knew it was bad, I would like, here's a perfect example. I was not, I was allowed to watch Harold and Kumar from like the, when it came out, to oh, when, I, when I was like seven or whatever to whenever, like that was just because my parents did not know about it that much. But Man, American the... Pie, oh. I wasn't allowed to watch American Pie because oh, my parents knew. knew what American Pie was. Yeah. Oh, so you saw the, the meat sandwich early or whatever the shit in Guantanamo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's more like, yeah, I wasn't monitored that I was watching South Park from six years old on like, Oh yeah. And my whole perspective is that this is the world. You shouldn't have to hide kids from the world. Like kids should be able to say bad words or something. You shouldn't have to yell at a kid for saying fuck or something. Um, it's a word. What, what is the look, idea? Teach them how to use it properly. There you go. Teach your kids. Yeah. And beat your kids. <laughs> no, I can't you don't gotta say, say that. Yeah, you gotta say nothing. <laughs> All right, let's move on. I'm <laughs> I'm good with that. Um, what do you want to talk about next? Uh, yo, did you see? <laughs> did you see uh the Michael Rappaport KD uh sc- scuffle? I'm, I'm aware want to call it that? that this was happening. I'm not sure the details. All right, bro. Like, yo, <laughs> Michael <Educate> Rappaport. <laughs> I don't gotta say anything. Michael Rappaport fucking snitched his way out of it. Look at this. Really? Okay. So this is Michael Rappaport's IG. He like, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna read the comment. It's that, on Snake Island. Yeah. So Michael Rappaport's comment on this picture of KD hugging a bunch of Asian women. Uh looks like they're basketball players or volleyball or something. Um, as most of you know, I receive threats and disgusting messages daily, but never in my wildest dreams I think Easy Money Sniper, Thank who is K- KD's handle, uh, would be among them. The snake emoji himself is now threatening me bringing up my wife and wants to fight. This is supposed to be America's sweetheart, <laughs> right? KD didn't get hacked either. Hold this L, champ. Hashtag, I'm the real MVP. <laughs> Hashtag, I got a story to tell. Bro, wait, hold up. That's just the beat. It. Like, let's, he posts all of his DMs. <laughs> Yo, I love 12E's comment. On the, he's have 12 comments. This is how they talk in NYC, though. <laughs> Bro. And, like, he literally just, like, posts all of his fucking screenshots. Oh, whoa. Just goes so for there's like a yeah, bunch of receipts right now. What, what, yeah. All right, sum this up for me. I have no idea what the fuck he's saying. All right, so basically it all started with this tweet right here. On Michael, Rapport, Michael Rappaport Twitter. tweeted, KD seemed deeply in his feelings with the NBA on TNT. Crew after the game. Damn it, he's a super sensitive about everything. Don't do the interview. Which isn't false. Because KD has shown and mad KD said you a mad. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I did the interview, you dickhead. <laughs> Tell your baby daddy Chuck to be better at his job, <laughs> bro. And like, look, look at this. Like, look how many messages in a row Katie's fucking sending to him. Wait, so why is he a snake? What happened? Well, like, you already origi- say it. I w- I'm sorry, I'm already forgetting. No, I mean, like, Katie's originally known for being a snake because he left the the Thunder. To yeah, he the left Warriors. the Thunder for the Nets. Yeah, no, oh, the, Warriors, the, War- sorry. the Warriors. And then is he, he left the Nets to the now? Nets. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. snake runs and runs through. But he's known for being like sensitive. And like always like, replying to okay. her shit. He's made like mad like different fake accounts to like talk to people. Oh, real? Oh, he's one of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so look, I swear I'm gonna spin in your face when I see your dirty ass. <laughs> oh shit. Well, all right, like, to that... be fair, Michael Rappaport has also been kind of a dickhead throughout his career. Oh, he's such a troll, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, but is he his... a troll or is he a dick? Okay, he's yeah. Uh a a little... Yeah, but mainly Dick, I'd say. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Like, I feel like he got mad, like, social media clout because of his, well, uh, I mean, him going yeah. against Trump, Dick Stain Donald. Oh, facts, yeah. I mean, based off these screenshots alone, KD's clearly being the bigger pussy. Yeah, but, like, also, like, do you have the right to show these screenshots to the world? No, I always think showing screenshots is, like, the biggest... It's the pussy move. I mean, like, stereotypically, like, that's what females do. Stereotypically. Like, I get that you have to, you want to 
if you're, how do I put this? Like, if they're pressing, if you're making a claim, right? Or someone makes a claim about you and this screenshot will directly uh, like, uh, yo, I'm sorry, man. Go, go know, get some sun. It's fucking with your it. brain, piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, like if, continue, like if Rappaport, if um, Katie said some shit and these, you know, screenshots were directly saying you're wrong or you're lying, that's when to pull them up. Don't just like pull them out of nowhere. Yeah, this really came out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> like, he just posted it on IG out of, right, for right, no right. reason. And like, like if post- someone... Sorry, if like someone was like, like, yo, my girl was cheating on, like, she's like, no, I wasn't. They're like, you said that. And like, you literally say, no, I wasn't. Here are the fucking. Here are the receipts. Yeah. yeah. Man pulled out receipts for nothing. That's why it's a receipt. That's why it's not just a thing. It's a receipt for evidence. Exactly. He man started it with a receipt, which you can't really do. Yeah. But like, also, like, look at, look at how many like messages in a row KD be sending, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's what... Like, you're a pro basketball player. Like, your life is good. Like you're probably the second best yeah, player in the league right now. Yeah, why is he so pissed the, about the how people treat him? Exactly, like yo, because what do you he's care? Such a good player, bro. Like just like keep playing ball <laughs> and like not worry too much about it. Especially someone like Rappaport, where like if he's dissing me or like saying something bad about me, I'm not gonna take it half like full seriously. Yeah, it's fucking Michael. Ra- it's like I'm trying to think of another crazy person that would just say some shit. Like six nine, if six nine came out yeah. like talking crazy about me, it's like, right? You kind of lost, like, like I don't like, know, bro. If you're at a Knicks game and you're on the other team, and Spike Lee's fucking yapping at you, hey, yo, like Spike Lee's respected. Like that doesn't mean yeah. like <laughs> he's also you know that that's gonna come from him, uh huh? Right? Like that's the game. Like I don't know. It's fine. Hey, did you still learn how to use the internet? Yo, back to what we were talking about. Like if this was Joga, though, it should have gone even crazier. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying yo I don't like, know where that intensity comes from <laughs> like this is every interaction ever this is just <laughs> you even need two famous people what else is there what was it? what's the the Rolling Stone shit oh okay so apparently Rolling Stone is owned by a parent company not sure the name of the parent company um but the the CEO or the founder the whatever the top guy at that company has apparently been um Bound to be uh, giving donations to the Saudi Arabian government. Oh, and that's a big no-no. If you guys don't know that, if you're yeah, saying we we yeah, we've talked about this in yeah. podcast. So apparently, everyone's trying to boycott Rolling Stone, the magazine. But I kind of feel every time some shit like this happens, where like the founder did something wrong, like I always feel I always start thinking about like the people that actually work for the company. But they didn't do anything wrong. They didn't do shit. And when it's Rolling Stone, when it's such a big company, like you would be putting so many people in trouble for Uh something that they have no say in doing. Especially, it's the parent company. It's not Rolling Stone. Mm. You know what I mean? It's the company that owns Rolling Stone. That's what I'm saying. It's the same thing with like Claude. It's like, are we willing to ruin lives just because you don't agree with something? Like, it's a... Like, obviously, this is like... Why is he like donating? Wait, is it donation to the Saudi government or whatever? Donation. I yeah, think don- is yeah. the proper way to go about it. Yeah. Donation. Donation air quotes, yeah. Yeah, like it's not even but, Rolling uh, Stone. Like Do you want to hear some shit about Bad Baby? Bad Baby, who I'm assuming is now a legal adult. Oh yeah. yeah. I think she like just turned 18, like last right. week. Right. So she joined OnlyFans as a as a you as a what do you call it? Well, like you're not a user. You're not, uh, you're not the subscriber. Content creator. The creator, sure. Yeah, yeah. And I think she immediately became like the most, the biggest OnlyFans account. Like Yo, uh, <laughs> this girl made a million dollars in like six hours. <laughs> Start OnlyFans. Bro, she literally clicked the button. I don't make this shit up, bro. Every Yo, week. And you know what's funny? Um, she They show you how it broke down, like where each money, each aspect of the account was making the money. So like subscribers, messages, uh the all that stuff. Advanced content or whatever yeah. it's called. Yeah. Right. So I think the biggest thing was the subscribers, obviously like the sub- actually subscribing to her. The second biggest thing was messages. So people aren't even really checking her out. Paid her a message? Yo. Yeah, I guess so. Pe- people are 
she's making a lot of the money just for people trying to get in contact with her, like just saying some shit. Yo, because you know, Who knows? People, you know why? Because people have been waiting for this fucking moment, bro. When she came, when I, she think, came I was not waiting for Bad Baby to make it holy pants. <laughs> I mean, not yo, not was I. <laughs> but some people got caught in 4K, but everyone that subscribed oh, got caught sure. in 4K. Because I know you was thinking about this shit when she was like 16. That's not you, like that. <laughs> <laughs> not say, was I? I don't know. 100%, bro. Yo. I mean, she was already playing that like ratchet girl. Vibe and like she yeah, her name was fucking yeah. bad baby, she right? Was playing like she was bad, like exactly, at the age yeah. of 15. So, no, nah, I've seen mad I comments on, on IG back then, like years ago. They were like, Yo, I can't wait to the day she turns 18. Yeah, that, yo, that <laughs> was the whole I'm pretty thing, sure yeah. there's like the Drake said that shit once. I don't know if it was about bad baby. He was like, No, that was about Billy Bobby birthday? Brown. That was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <at> 11. <laughs> oh, so no, the 11 of... girl from the street. What do I do oh, I get into that? Kong, no, nah, wait, 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 wait. Wait, I mean, is there more to talk? Oh, I want. I need to know what the hell. That's enough about Bad Baby. I don't need to give much time. I just think it's crazy that this girl oh, immediately biggest OnlyFans account. It's crazy. Like, I wish I was joking. Like, wait, I started this shit from the beginning <laughs> of the podcast. I don't, I kind of was joking, but like, the every week we do this, I just see. It's just, more evidential. Yeah, I just see more darkness and less light. <laughs> <laughs> nah, let's get into this video that you posted in here. What? Oh, or, the, the the is it? Uh, explain. Patriarch? I don't even know what it is. All right. So basically, you you know how like all this like Asian hate and violence mm -hmm. is just soaring in the social media realm. Yeah, man. I don't know what caused this sudden it's, spike. I mean, there was obviously the one event. Uh, what, what happened? It was um. Was it a shooting with the, the massage salons. parlor? Yeah, the salon's massage parlors. Yeah. yeah. That shit was crazy. That was actually <laughs> like, insane. Yeah. The fact that like the, the county sheriff or whatever the fuck he was, he just said that mm -hmm. the dude had a bad day. Yeah, that was I'm like, yo, do these people like ever think like like yo, at least like come out and be like, yo, nah, I'm just being racist. Like it's fine. <laughs> like at least <laughs> then I'll be like, I appreciate it a little bit more. But like, how do you like just say that? Like, yeah, bro, I... consciously. <laughs> I'm like, like I'd be having bad days too. I'm not gonna. Yeah, right. Like we all got our bad days. Because oh, clearly he's also had bad days and thought about doing it. He just didn't do it. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> I but uh. Yeah. What's going on? So uh, this dude, I don't even know where he's speaking, but like it's some sort of like conference or something, and he's just some Asian dude who like served in the U.S. military. Oh, and he showed his scars, right? Yeah, I thought it was a little baller. Yeah, no, for real, play this shit. Baller, yeah. Man. Yeah, I'm not bad. I'm just saying it up. Um, yeah, let's see it. No, big up this dude. He really stuck it to him. Yeah, yo, I, I was a fan. I was showing fucking up. Yeah, for those that are listening, there is this, I believe he was some type of, he's a politician in some capacity. And they were talking about this. And I don't know oh. where the argument stemmed from. You hear it? But yeah. People question my okay. patriotism. There you go. That I don't look American enough. They could not get over this face. Uh, I want to show you something. I want to tell you. Because I'm not afraid. I don't have to live in fear, intimidation, or insults. He's basically undressing right now. I'm 69 yeah, I mean, years old. Yeah. And we'll I'm going to show you what patriotism, the questions about patriotism looks like. The shirt's coming off. Pause. Mm -hmm. Here is my proof. Yeah, this is so Bro. wild. He's got a this huge scar across his chest US line. Military. Now, is this patriot enough? I'm not ashamed to walk around anymore. Before I was felt inhibited. I'm a little. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. His actions speaks louder than. Yeah, for any sure. Any words. I, I'm not trying to even be like racist, but like that, sh that shit looks like it came straight out like an anime scene, bro. <laughs> uh. <laughs> like the way he take up, took up the tie, bro. It was like the anime character. Yo, the, okay. This is... <laughs> <laughs> nah, but... And then like you got the fucking dope ass car. Nah, nah. Imagine yeah. G. Imagine if G's that was a... like a fictional world and he was like, you think I'm not 
Well, no, that's like a very story. Uh, how do I like? It's a very common it, story trope to use, where it's like, you think I'm not in this hard enough? Look at these scars. Like, look at this. Like, right? I've been doing yeah. this. Yeah, nah, but yo, what you think no. about this Asian hate stuff? Like, that it's bad. That we probably shouldn't. Okay. Hate on <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that was <laughs> no, a weird. I, way to... No, 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 no. It's it's wild. I don't know why all of a sudden we're seeing an influx. I feel like. Maybe it's, maybe there is maybe it's actually always been this way and we're just seeing more coverage of it. I don't that's know. what because I don't know. Like I'm Asian, kind of. Sure. No, right. In India is from <laughs> in Asia for sure. Yo, well, we we don't get no coverage. Nah, okay. I'm, like, I'm gonna say that. I'm yeah. Gonna say that. But it's like I don't know. I've seen like my people, brown people, or like yellow, mm-hmm. whatever you want, like that kind of Asian. I've seen like them getting like hated or like looked down upon for years. It's like 23 sure. years, almost 24 years now. Like on my birthday, but um, like I feel like it's just like it's just coverage now. It's like the coverage is spiked, but maybe crimes is also spiked too. No, I think that's kind of always going to be is like racism, any type of violent racism, racism in general, it's never gone away. The news is kind of just choosing when to highlight it. Yeah, and nowadays it's Asian racism. You know what I mean? Yeah, and maybe like more people are getting uh, what's the word? Or radical and like acting upon these uh I think especially s- since Trump got in the presidency and it's mm-hmm. just since that moment, uh, regardless of what's happened after, people have been more passionate about whatever. Like whatever political, polar... political and social views, regardless if you're on either side. You're just you're you're more passionate about it because it was brought out of everyone during that time. Maybe. It's just so hard because it's like you're it's a, like just the media that's covered this shit or it's mm-hmm. like it's actually happening which is probably a little bit of both but well it kind of yeah. just goes to show how much people are talking about stuff based off of media coverage mm-hmm. and media in general mm-hmm. you know it's like that kind of whole thing it's like why is no one talking about this and then some of these people start talking about it like right. you uncover like some like talk about it. yeah like why is no one talking about the Amazon workers getting, you know, not being able to pee and all that shit. Like, oh, like if you saw that, yeah, that was a whole other thing. Damn, I want to pee. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna go pee right now. Just yo, the whole thing. I think I could be a hundred percent wrong on this. Amazon has such a tight, like, rule structure for their delivery. They like they need that package two days after you order it. You know what I mean? So yeah. you can't be doing if you don't get that package delivered in two days or whatever, you fucked up. Yo, R- RDC needs to make a video. <laughs> like, yo, sir, yeah, I just right? want to pee. Yeah, it's been yeah, two yeah. days, fam. Yo, the, the Amazon driver in the car would be like, yo, I gotta get this Barbie doll and this fucking girl. But I gotta pee. <laughs> like, I can't waste five seconds. I can't. <laughs> Go to UPS, you fired. Yeah, right? <laughs> I think they did a video like that. There probably is something, yeah. The FedEx nah. driver versus the UPS driver versus the mailman. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that'd be a fire matchup no nah. uh, it's like mm, cause like it's it's kind of like that ba- bad baby concept where I said everyone was just waiting for this mm-hmm. and like that energy was boiled up obviously we're talking about two very different things but it's like all this like racism and hate and like belittlement cause the mm-hmm. Asians were always belittled mm-hmm. like all people of like color I feel like were kind of like belittled by the majority yeah and like now that shit's just bursting onto the scene. Well, all that feelings are being expressed. Also, there's too many feelings to express, bro, with all the social media and shit. Right. No, th- that that I I echo for sure. I, yeah, well, yeah. Sometimes we just don't need to react. No, nah, but there's a whole other thing that like um like the whole idea that we've been talking about racism. Why you know racism's been talked about forever. Like you know. Why is it that now would be the change? It's like, at what point does it actually change? At what point does it stop becoming? We've been talking about this forever, and it's and like it becomes like we're all we're in doing this together. Yeah. yeah, High School Musical. I don't know. Right. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Because I'm I sure everyone it. felt that you know. I'm sure when they freed the slaves or whatever, that was a huge moment of oh, things are actually changing, and it did, without a doubt, but. And then the civil rights movement, you know, a few, you know, 
200 years later, whatever it was, not even 100 years. No, not even 100 years. Uh, after that, it was like, okay, people are getting rights now. And it's like, things are changing. And then we're still having issues today. You know what I mean? At what point is it stopped being an issue? It's because they, they need us to argue amongst each other. They need us Facts. like average ass people to be no, no, no. fucking fighting against each other. That's whoever they one hundred percent real. I don't know who they yeah. is, but that person. No, them. the structure of how we are, we live, we're like mm-hmm. is a lot of things are based off conflict being embedded into culture. Yo, it's like when that dude shot, shot up the the salons. Like the mm-hmm. three salons in Georgia, yo, there was probably someone that nutted because of that. He's just like, yo, let's go. Like, thank God this crazy shit sure. fucking did that. For sure. Uh, what was I going to say? But, uh, well, that actually kind of, I don't know if it relates or not. What's the deal with this? Um, the French? The, the French um, voted to ban the hijab, which is like the Muslim veil that mm-hmm. uh, females wear for under the age of uh, 18, even though you can have uh, consensual sex at the age of 15. Isn't that kind of crazy? That, that's what you could do in France. You could start fucking at 15. Well, Europe in general is definitely more sex positive than like most of the world. Oh, uh, this is just like an so, article. I haven't read it. I don't yet. know how that shit goes. But you can't even. Damn. So I don't know what the idea is because all right, so there's obviously like an argument about the hijab that it oppresses women. Right. But like and like maybe their vote was to to try to help the oppression, but like Muslim people, women are the ones that like <laughs> don't want this. Like they're all going against it. Wait, wait, wait. Go back up. Sorry. Oh, you're right, you're right. French senators who voted in favor of these rules believe the so-called anti-separation bill will prohibit conspicuous religions signed by minors and of any dress or clothing which would signify an inferior. Inferior cessation yeah. <laughs> of yeah. women over men being worn in public. Space. So this has to do more with a gender thing mm-hmm. as but opposed like, to a religious thing. I'm just speechless. I can't read that. Though. It's just, time and time again, we have seen the French authorities use this vague and ill-defined concept of radicalization or radical Islam to justify the imposition of measures without valid grounds. So, yeah, nah, it's like they're trying to do a good thing, but it's just not working. I don't even know if they're trying to do it. I guess they're, I guess the on paper idea is because they think that this is fucking religious extremism, right. like right here. I guess Sri Lanka's following in the same yeah. footsteps. Listen, but I don't know how it is in France with anything like that. But That's crazy. You got to let people, at least, you got to let people wear what they want to wear as long as it's not hurting anyone. Because you can't give your own, um, what's the word, opinions on mm-hmm. someone else's religion, especially if that those people like want want it still. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah, it I didn't was, know that so many yeah. people, like so many other countries, follow like Switzerland and Sri Lanka. That's crazy. I guess it's an issue, and I mean, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I see bad like people like protesting that. So yeah. yeah, the whole the whole world's fucked. Basically, this is a very depressing podcast this week. Yeah, sorry guys. I mean, not yeah, really. My, my voice is fucked up too. Oh, yeah, something happened with you. I don't know what what you're going through. <laughs> nah, yeah. You want to do the review or the bracket first? Let's uh, let's go to the review. Review and then bracket. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, biggest. Well, sorry, I just had a complete brain freeze. Um, this week's review was a movie. I don't know how you feel. I've been waiting for for a good amount of time. I think we talked about it in like episode three of our podcast yeah. and some shit. So Godzilla vs. Kong was released on HBO Max. <laughs> this was probably the biggest of the movies so far for as far as um that the whole HBO Max and theatrical movie being released at the same time. Like this was the yeah. biggest one where it's like you think you be they'd be losing money because of how big the movie is. If yeah, if it tanks, yeah. yeah. Um apparently it had the it was released in theaters, though, and it had the biggest box office of any movie since the pandemic started. Oh, yeah, like $10 million. Because the, the ads for it was just huge, like, beforehand. Right. It's also just, up. we're at a time where people are starting to feel more comfortable going back to things like that. Mm-hmm. And it's a big movie. It's something that people wanted to see. Wrongfully. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> well, no. Okay. First of all, explain the movie. I want you to tell Godzilla the story. versus Kong. I want, you, I want you to tell the story. <laughs> Dude, you know, actually, tell the story of the goddamn movie. Bro, they I'll do it. <laughs> Yo, what's her, what's her name? Michael Bobby Portis? What, what's her name? Okay, so... <laughs> Michael Bobby Carter? This is actually the fourth movie in this new Godzilla franchise. And mm-hmm. Kong, I guess. It started with uh, Godzilla from 2014, where people complained there was too little Godzilla. And then there was Kong Skull Island, which took place in the 70s. And that was supposed to be your introduction to King Kong, as well as the idea that it was like, showing how this world is experiencing these monsters for the first time. And then it go into Godzilla versus, no, Godzilla King of the Monsters, where you get Godzilla versus all the classic monsters that he had from his original movies. That video game was fire, but we'll get into that. Right. And that's where you also get a lot of the human characters that are in this one. For the, mo- kind of. Um, I had no connection to and these then you humans, get this. bro. Okay. Well, let me ask you first. These humans were trash. Before we even get into that, what's your experience with Godzilla and King Kong in general before this movie? I was never like, yeah. All right. So I was. Ne- I'm never a fan of like a superhero movies in general. I know this is not like a superhero movie, but it's like it's you mean like like, that, a, like a big blockbuster movie, like a blockbuster action film. Where you're like, not a fan. Okay. The main thing is just action, like superficial action. Okay, I see you. Yeah. So yeah. like superhumans, like fucking giant ass mm-hmm. monsters, whatever else you want to do. I get it. I get it. But like that being said, like I still had like I was still hyped for this. Like I was down to see like a mad dice fight. Just right. fuck it. Like mad money thrown to the shit. Didn't even get that. Had you seen any of the Godzilla or King Kong? I saw like the, the Jack Black one. The, the Jack Black. The Kong. Oh, the King Kong movie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like what the two thousand like something. Yeah. That was two five. Something yeah, like that. something like that. Like that, which it. is a good movie, which is a good version of King Kong for sure. And like I've seen like cl- clips of like the old old Godzilla one where he like comes out the water mm-hmm. and like it's just like a claymation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like actually, funny thing about that. So let me give a little history lesson real quick. So King Kong was actually the first of any of these characters to be made into a movie, mm-hmm. and it's just you know the simple the the uh, version we all know the. Film crew goes to the island. They discover Kong. They bring him back to the States. He goes in the Empire State Building, yada, yada. Um, There's a lot more to it, but that's the basic thing. Um, And that story has been told two or three times. Not many other stories involving King Kong other than that. Um, And the first King Kong movie is like a technical achievement for what at the time. Like they were doing stuff that had never been done before. Was it because like the visual effects? Visual, yeah, yeah. Story is whatever. But, like, in terms of, like, how they made this giant monkey appear on screen and interact with actors and stuff like that was unbelievable for the time in the 30s or something. You know what it is? I feel like you shoot yourself in the foot nowadays when your whole, like, your whole, uh, what's the word? Like, the whole hype is based off visual effects. And just because every, like, fucking, high, like, high-budget movie Mm-hmm. They're all going to have crazy visuals. So if that's the only thing you got going for you, you're already, like, playing behind. Okay. Playing with a gold down. Or right. Whatever fuck analogy you want to say. Well, it's actually, well, funny you say it. So, like, for example, the first Godzilla movie. Not that much action in it, really. It's very, very, very metaphorical mm-hmm. for the fear of the Japanese people post-World War II and nuclear, mm-hmm. the fear of nuclear war. Yeah. That is, literally the only thing you can take away from that movie if there's but one see, thing to take away from that there movie. was it's something so, else it was something else than just visual. that's that's my point is that there was a real story and it's really interesting to see how we came from those two movies to now those two characters are not jokes but they're used for entertain like real just like popcorn fun entertainment mm-hmm. and not like the the groundbreaking messages aspects that they, that they came from. Yeah. King Kong kind of has messages, but that what King Kong was definitely more of a, we're a popcorn. Uh, not even that, like we're doing this to show you the technical achievements that we can do. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm sure there's some metaphors if you want to get into it, but it's not really the main thing. Yeah. Like man, it's a giant monkey. Like, yeah. Well, yeah. But the thing with Godzilla, especially is that 
as the more movies came out, like they just started immediately started making more Godzilla movies because it was so successful. Mm-hmm. And that that definitely turned into the goofier thing. Yeah, because like, it was as getting watered movie, down and it was all yeah, about as, as, me, as each movie kept going, it kept getting more and more ridiculous. So I did a whole, I had not seen that many Godzilla movies. I had never seen King Kong before, but I, I wanted to build up my hype for this. So I started doing Marathon. I, I was watching a lot of Godzilla movies. I watched the original. Oh, King he Kong was really movie. in it. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I definitely saw the progression of how silly these things got. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's kind of the thing with Asian cinema in general. When that and that's going to be my like my main point is that Asian cinema is inherent. Like when they're making the blockbusters, they're so silly. They're ridiculous. They're the most ridiculous movies you could ever watch. Okay. Okay. And that's embedded in Godzilla. Now, at least. So, when it comes to Americans making Godzilla movies, it doesn't work that well. Mm-hmm. It's just it's not already. It's already like down. Like th- that being said, though, the the in the these four new movies, Godzilla, the first Godzilla movie, I really enjoy. I think it's a good movie. Wait, which one? The, the 2014 one, where okay, where okay. this Godzilla first shows up, mm-hmm. the one that isn't. and. Kong Skull Island, also a pretty fun movie. King of the Monsters, the one that came before this, one of the worst movies. Just, it sucks. Did all the other monsters pull up? To yes, that movie? In, in, the, in the one before this. You okay. get all the famous monsters from Godzilla. And damn, it sucked. Damn. And it's horrible. But that's, okay, so here's the thing, and it grasps back to what you were saying. The monster stuff is great. The monster fights, that what you, what you want to watch the movie for, is great. The human stuff is awful. Yeah. So bad. Because I feel like all these movies is like, I will, ne- like, this is a movie about Superman, but that we follow, like, the life of, like, a little girl. And, like, her, like, Superman just comes in, like, for 30 minutes and, like, does his thing. I don't know if that example works as well, but that can be said for the, God- the first Godzilla movie that I was talking mm-hmm. about, where it's, People were complaining that there wasn't enough Godzilla in it because there's so it's so focused on the human characters. But here's the here's the thing, and this is my this is my big statement. It's not that the human having humans in these movies is a bad idea. Oh, not at all. You it's need a great them. idea. It's the fact that the humans that you're writing suck. <laughs> like these characters, if you put good characters in, bro, can we get just straight into it? Like, yo, yeah, the, yes. the the fucking friend. Millie Bobby Brown, is that her name? The, yeah, Millie Bobby Brown is in this one, and she was in the last one also. Yeah, her friend, that little, like, little, like... Oh, Ju- uh, his name's Julian something. He's Yeah, he's the little a, pe- peanut-looking dude. Yeah. <laughs> Look how he got a peanut allergy, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bro, that was the worst actor I've ever seen in my life, bro. Okay. I think literally anyone, like, could have done a better job than him. I think I need to also say, I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume you're not familiar with a lot of these people. I no, nah, I knew um I, I knew Millie Bobby Brown and uh, okay. the black dude who runs the podcast from uh, Atlanta. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I um, like his character in uh, Brian in Tree Henry. Too. It was like, kind um, of funny. It was a little too goofy. Yeah, um, a little too much comic well, relief. The, the thing is, th- these are all very talented people. They have all done great work. It's Not just, that dude, though. You, you Not got analogy. No, 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 he's actually a really good actor. He he's been in really good movies. Okay, and he's done really good. I don't, yeah, you said a lot of movies are good, and then we review them, and they're, they're shit. And this is you also one. just have you yo, you just don't know what you're talking about. I don't know why we even do this every time. Like we talk, <laughs> like, I don't know why I talk. I don't know why I indulge you in any of these conversations. <laughs> yeah, I literally say every movie is shit. The only thing I, I haven't said is shit was the documentaries. Well, that's maybe real. Just, maybe I'm just a duck guy. Maybe, but um. So the thing with this one, though, I will all the humans again suck. They're 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 so unnecessary. And the only one that I had any type of connection to was the little girl that r- cared for Kong. Oh, and she didn't even say a word. She was silent. She was a uh, yeah. well. She wasn't silent. She was a uh, deaf and uh, not no, deaf. She was, she was uh, silent. Mute. Yeah. yeah, mute, silent, whatever. Yeah. That's the word. Yeah, I I, I, don't, I always make that connection when I really shouldn't. But um, she was sign language to communicate. And she communicated with Kong that way, which was a big revelation. I'm I'm gonna spoil the fuck out of this movie because who cares? It's Kong versus Godzilla. I didn't even know there was anything to spoil. I didn't even know there's nothing to spoil in that movie. 
So I will give it that, again, all the fight sequences involving the monsters were really well done. Were they? Yes. 100%. They were, they were well done. It was but a the issue fight. Is, the issue is they would cut away, even though they do it less in this one, and thank God this movie is shorter than the rest of them. Um, they would cut in between the fighting, they would cut back to the humans because we're supposed to care about these people when we don't. If you had just let the monster seek fights go mm. just straight and real like remember that we're here to watch the fights, I feel like we would have had a better time. But at, like you said before, like if they got the characters right, the human characters right, like they read like a little better of a story, right? Then yo, cut back to them all you want. Like yo, mm-hmm. the creation of what was it, the Mechazilla? Mechagodzilla. That, that was kind of bullshit. Come on, like he just came out of nowhere. No, he didn't though. They built him up throughout the entire movie. Barely. And also, to be fair, the whole um, the way that they are able to program Mechagodzilla is through the uh, King Ghidorah head, which was that giant skull. And that was actually set up in the last movie. That's like last actually movie, okay. that was actually properly set up. I will give him that. That okay. was a connection that made sense. Okay, maybe I didn't see the last movie, so yeah, it didn't hit like that. I don't know. Like overall, like a sh- like a bad movie. No shit, movie. Mm-hmm. Here's they. This this happens so much now with like blockbusters. Is that they? I'm not even gonna say that they over-explain things, but like. They treat the audience as if you are the dumbest person alive and you're not following anything, as if you weren't sitting there watching the movie. Oh, yeah, no. Full, and that's fully. the feeling I got. Full, and then, like, yeah, like, that's every high budget movie. It's a lot of them. Yeah, it's in a, Hollywood. It's definitely a lot. I like one of the biggest examples is when you first see Mecha Godzilla go alive, I guess, activated. Um, it's Billy Bobby Brown, that kid Julian, and Brian Tree Henry, and they look up and goes, it's Robo Godzilla, and then he goes, <laughs> "No, it's Mecha Godzilla." Like, bro, just say it's Mecha Godzilla. You don't even gotta say. It. We know that giant robot Godzilla is Mecha Godzilla, <laughs> bro. Yeah, it's just like everything's like exaggerated. Like, it's little it's, shit like that that I fucking hate. That yeah, yo, this is like my argument for like J- Japanese uh, dub versus sub or whatever. It's, okay, it went like, gone. It, it's like the little things that create the scene. Like a Japanese person mm-hmm. would be like, and then Where, like in English, they'd be like, yo, you idiot, bro. So like, yeah, like that's actually a great example. Like in Japanese, when you're reading the subtitles, it's translated from what they're actually saying. But when, but like, you're the dub ver- when you're getting the dub version, it's kind of like a reinterpretation mm-hmm. because you have to cater, you're making the dub version to cater it to English listeners, English uh-huh. audiences, which ha- who have different sensibilities. Exactly. Like they, they're expecting different things. So you have to change the content. And that's what it feels like these movies are doing when you said that like they're making like you're the dumbest person ever. They're right. like almost reinterpreting their own work. They're, exactly. And like to make it seem like the dumbest person can get it. Exactly. When you when I'm sure there's people and like a, which is kind of confusing to me because a lot of like critics and stuff, and like the majority of viewers of this people like movie like it. Like, it's, okay. it's done pretty well in Rotten Tomatoes, like, all the ratings and stuff. But Rotten Tomatoes but, is bullshit. It's not bullshit, but, like, it it's, is. it's skewed. No, no, but, like, when you actually... The score, the tomato score is skewed. You can go see what people are actually thinking yeah. about the movie. Like, and when you looking at the score and, like, judging that the movie off mm-hmm. that, that's bullshit. Yes. But just looking at reviews in general, people are saying this is a good movie because the fight sequences were good. And it's like... So you're forgetting the whole human aspect of it, which is still a majority and majority of the movie and a very crucial part of the movie. If anything, I want that to be the best part of the movie. Low key. Facts. Because it just that makes would the make fights it that much better. Movie. Yeah, because fights are always going to be crazy with the amount of money we have now and technology. Right. Yeah, I will now. say it was very smart to make Godzilla the hero of the movie in a way and not make it too villain. Who... Who would be villains? Argue against each other? Because they had the team fight together to beat the Mechazilla. Right. But all right, let's get into that too. They add fight between them who won and who didn't. So Godzilla wins. Yeah, 100%. Without it, and like it wasn't every time they beat a couple times. Yeah. Bro, every time they fought, I think it was like two two big fights. 
Godzilla one. It was the one underwater. And yeah. then it was the, the last one before Mechazilla pulls up. Right. So yeah. Godzilla wins. I personally thought that King that Kong was gonna win. I thought he was gonna put up a fight. He did put up a fight. I will give it to him. Especially I I rewatched the the fight. Okay. To like just refresh myself because I watched this a few days ago. Uh, Godzilla no, sorry, Kong puts up a fight for sure. It's the fact that Godzilla just gets the better of him. And like, but I thought just like from a story perspective that Kong was going to win to be by defeating Godzilla, who is the king of the monsters. Mm -hmm. That Kong, who hasn't been crowned king yet of anything yet in this iteration, would defeat him and become King Kong. Like actually, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I was hoping that too. That would be a great story. To be fair, King Kong was never going to win. Mm-hmm. Man don't got claws. He can't it's fucking Godzilla. breathe by it. He yeah. doesn't have the, the <laughs> thorax or whatever. Yeah. That shit was crazy. But I thought I thought that would have been a really good like way to tell this story. And a to be fair, fight, he yeah. does become the king of that hollow earth mm-hmm. in the center of the earth, apparently, that's down there. <laughs> yeah. Which apparently, again, I had a, uh, this was brought up to me on YouTube or whatever. Like that, this whole thing which of the hollow earth had been set up since like three movies ago. Oh yeah. And I had no idea. I thought this was the most random shit ever. See, that's the thing. It's like, I just, I was watching shit and like, it kind of didn't make sense. But like, they explain like the other stuff that like already does make sense. Well, that's the thing. Well, well, that comes back to the whole thing. Like, does this movie need to make sense? And it's like, Mm. to some people, no, but make it make sense, man. Come on. Like, this isn't, Mm -hmm. I realize that there, these are two like of, very absurd uh, characters mm-hmm. and we're here to watch the absurdity but you can make it make sense yeah then like it's like why would you have like millie bobby brown and like the dude from atlanta if you're right. not gonna write a good story with them like right. you don't need the, them as actors then if you, you could make them trash exactly yeah all right yeah overall i don't i don't even recommend this movie this movie i yeah. i'm not saying watch it i don't yo this, a quick little versus this movie or um what did we what did we watch uh last week? No, no, no that, that was it. Not the operation. Yeah, because right, that was that was actually nice. Or all the small things. Or all, all the little things. things. Yeah, yeah. The Denzel movie. I would rather yeah. watch this. Yeah, okay, okay. Me too, me too. <laughs> Even though I do think the little things actually it's not even a told a better story. Nah, it's not even a competition. Because the yeah. little things didn't treat you like you were dumb. I'll give them that. It was a bad story, but they, didn't they treated treat... themselves like they were dumb. To an, in a way, for sure. Yeah, I, this one is just more bracket. entertaining. It's a more I can at least I can't enjoy some things. Yeah, bracket. exactly. The fight. Yeah, let's move on to the bracket though. A very related. Yeah, so, bracket. speaking of Godzilla and Kong, who are kaiju monsters, Godzilla isn't. No, sorry, King Kong isn't. Kaiju is the literal defi- uh, translation of monster in Japanese. Mm-hmm. And that is actually a whole subgenre of movies in general, or a whole subgenre of like Japanese uh, culture. And it really did start with Godzilla, and it became like Godzilla versus this monster, and whatnot. Even though there, I'm, I sprinkled in a few more. Yeah, because so, it's the whole without, universe of them. Yeah, yeah. Did you play the game? It was like Godzilla versus like the Beast or whatever on no. N64 or on no, GameCube. No idea. No. But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna figure while our feed finds this video, we're gonna be deciding. I don't even know who who's the not the best one. I guess who would win? Really, right? Wait, uh, between all the the beasts. Yeah. What was this? Yo, this game right here. No, I've, I've never, never seen, this, seen game. this. This is wild, bro. This game was so fucking crazy, bro. This is the only reason I know any all the monsters and stuff. Oh, for real? Okay. Bro, there oh, was like I'm glad ha- you know some of them then. Okay. Yeah, no, I I know all the guys on this little setup. Oh, bet that's pretty much who's in the bracket. Okay. So yeah, we can talk about it. We can talk about it. Okay. All right. So, so wait, I how guess, are we doing this? Who would win in a fight? Or who's just I? Right, how about we do three categories like we always do? Yeah. Who'd win? Which one just like looks more epic? And some other th- <laughs> some other third thing. I don't know. It might as well just be best overall. <laughs> just best overall. Okay. Yeah. Bet, 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 bet. 
I, yo, we got a Titan right. matchup right We're now. We're going to start with Godzilla. Again, this is all randomized, so maybe, first maybe round. Maybe we could do, like, uh, the impact that they had. Okay, Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla. Who would win? I'm Mechazilla, saying Mechagodzilla, right? bro. Mechagodzilla is so... Even though we just watched a movie where Godzilla beat the shit out of Mechagodzilla, that was with that. I don't give a fuck, bro. Mechagodzilla is so fire as a character. He's a tin He's man. He's Mechagodzilla, dog. Like, <laughs> it's Godzilla, but Mecha. <laughs> bro, he was a monster in that video game that I just showed you. Ah, <sighs> bad. That's, that's Godzilla, bro. Like, like, that's what I'm one, saying. We took Godzilla and made him better. Yo, one, you got, like, the worst picture of Mechagodzilla, too. <laughs> yeah, dude, I couldn't find, like, a solid Man's one. looking at trash. Like, Godzilla is definitely looking more fire here. Yeah, well, that's also the new Godzilla and the old Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. You got the worst yeah. picture. <laughs> I don't know. I'm to be fair, Godzilla. that's the Mecha Godzilla. When I think Mecha Godzilla, that's the Mecha Godzilla I picture in my head. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. I don't know. It has to be Godzilla, bro. Fuck no. That's God fucking Zilla. And it's Mecha Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> bro, without Godzilla, there's no Mecha Zilla. Yeah, but that's we took Godzilla and made him better. Yeah, I don't know. I can't. I I can't say. I can't get rid of Godzilla. All right, we'll give it to Godzilla. I'm just saying. Are you conceding? Mega okay, Godzilla. So I'll concede this. Yeah, <laughs> I knew Let's I wasn't go. gonna win that. I'm just saying. Mega Godzilla. Is so <laughs> Let's go. fire. Let's go. All right. Uh, let's do Kong versus King Ghidorah. All right. For the next round, we have. Oh, this guy. So was King Ghidorah epic. is the three headed dragon. This guy was That's, epic. He's probably the most known Godzilla villain. He's like an actual. Mm-hmm. Villain. He doesn't ever like turn good or anything. He is always going to be the villain. Okay, and he was. And he's an movie, alien. Right? He's not even like fro- like I, like a lot of these monsters are come from like a natural cause, like Godzilla being like a uh, product of nuclear warfare. Mm-hmm. Like King Ghidorah is an alien, comes Just... from another world entirely. Uh, I think I think Kong's a little overrated. Like he has nothing special going on for him. If we're talking about who... All right, well, here's where these categories come in that you like to use. <laughs> if we're talking about impact, it's Kong. Okay. Without a doubt. It's King Kong, dog. Like, that's like a... He's a cultural icon. I mean, Godzilla had the more impact than Mechagodzilla. Right. Okay. Wait, I'm... Ha- sorry, I just got way too much deja vu for a second. I don't know why. I feel like we've <laughs> literally had this... I felt like I've dreamt that this happened already. Like, this exact conversation. Because we've been okay. waiting for the movie. Fact. But <laughs> King Ghidorah... So if we're talking about who wins in a fight, definitely, it's probably King Ghidorah. Three heads, bro, on that separate. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And yeah, he was my go-to character on that on my video game. He's, he's OP. Yeah, even the mech. Oh, but we'll get into that. Yeah. Are we agreeing, King, King Ghidorah? Yeah, I think so. I right, work. It's real. Yeah. It sucks that they put every character, every King Kong. Or sorry, I keep saying, mixing these up. Every Godzilla character in that one fucking movie before this one, the King of the Monsters. Mm-hmm. And I get why they did it, but like you, you wasted all of them because now most of them are dead. Okay. Speaking so, of two, all right. So for the got, next matchup, this is finally one without King King Kong and Godzilla. Mm-hmm. Okay. We got Gigan versus Mothra. Oof. Now, Mothra's the shit, dog. She's the uh, queen of the monsters. Bro, she was fire in that video. Like, that's the only And she saved Godzilla in the last movie. I'm going to give that to her. If we're talking oh. about the new movies still. Okay, okay. And in a lot of the old movies, she fucking held it down. Yeah. No, I, I hate Mots, but I, I like her. Yeah. And Gigan, he's pretty lethal. <laughs> he, he looked lethal. Yeah. He looked I don't critical. remember him that much in the movies. I think he was in, like, one or a few. Mm-hmm. But definitely not, like, a staple character. Mothra is, like, she's the... If it's if we're talking about importance of characters, it's Godzilla and her. Okay, that, for that's sure, a bold claim. Yeah, no, one hundred percent. I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna just give it to her. Yeah, I'm not even ask you. Let's go, Mothra's all right. Uh, all right, final Last round one, of the... please. Ang- Rodan versus, versus Angrius. I think is how you say it. Okay, I don't even know. I'm gonna all have right. to go Angrius. No, nah, see, it's Rodan. It's it's Rodan. Oof. Rodan, right. in terms of just like again, the we're talking about like the longevity and impact of him. Mm-hmm. He's just he, he, it's Rodan. Like the guy's definitely a little more of a staple in the franchise, and the uniqueness too, because Angrius is just like a spiked Godzilla. 
Dude, almost. he looks like every other blizzard dinosaur. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's basically just a guy that yeah. with a bunch of spikes. Rodan's a fucking ter- one of the only pterodactyls, I'm pretty sure. Okay, in this yeah. whole franchise. I could be swayed to say Rodan. Yeah. For sure. I, it's Rodan. Yeah. I gave you something. Okay, cool. All right. Oh. <laughs> I, this is the one I've been waiting for. <laughs> the quarterfinals. Let's get it. Godzilla oh, versus Vanilla, who's the son of Godzilla. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> this is what he looks like? <laughs> Bro, that's... The- there's a movie called Son of Godzilla where they introduce baby Godzilla pretty much. Oh my it is. Bro, when the Godzilla movies used to be like dudes in suits <laughs> running around, he was, this is the epitome of like the goofy characters. Bro, without a doubt. Nose. Yeah, dude. He's, the fucking, he's so weird looking. Oh. <laughs> and I had to throw him in here because he's so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know it's Godzilla. I know in this matchup is Godzilla. But like... Shout out to I didn't even know his name was I thought it was literally just baby Godzilla. Mini Zilla, that's funny. Yeah. Or mini mini manila. Mini manila. <laughs> <laughs> that was the jokes of the watch. Okay, yeah. moving on. All right. Next uh King Ghidorah versus Hedora. Hedora. I've never seen Hedora. Those eyes are great. Hedora is a giant weird blob. Tentacle blob. Yeah. And then okay. it's King Ghidorah. If we're talking I feel like again, without a doubt, it's King Ghidorah. Yeah, definitely in terms of like impact more people have seen. King yeah, just Ghidorah. and also who wins in a fight, dude. Everything. Oh yeah. 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 All right. Um, oh, Mothra. Have you ever seen Pacific Rim? Like the movie? Yeah. No, never. Okay, Pacific Rim was a Guillermo del Toro movie. If you know who that is, big, very famous director. Um, mm-hmm. great, mo- great movies the guys made. Um, he decided to make like this like kaiju action movie where humans get into these kaiju sized uh, suits, mecha, you know, mecha suits, and they control it through movement and whatnot to fight these kaiju. Mm. And that movie's sick. So I think that's the best kaiju movie that's come out in recent years. Okay. I can't say versus Mothra. I can't even hurt. I like, I can't even say I heard of any of that. So I'm about to give it to Mothra. Yo. Oh, you're going to give it to Mothra? Okay. I would also give it to Mothra, but definitely check out Pacific Rim if you haven't. That's fair enough. I'll take that as an argument. If you're into these types of like, just like popcorn movies, but you want a little something better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pacific Rim. Definitely check it out. Got Charlie from Always Sunny in it. Oh, okay. Playing a batshit crazy person. Yeah. That's okay. Here we go. Next matchup. Okay. We have an interesting one here because this is like the same universe. Versus the Titans from Attack on Titan, who are kaiju. They are Japanese monsters. Are we just are we doing like a specific Titan or just like all of them in general? Because some Titans are like more badass than the other. Do you want to pick a Titan to make it more specific? Like, would you do you have one in mind? What if you did like uh Aaron's Titan? The was it the old founder Titan? Sure. That's gotta um, be Aaron. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, we can even... Yeah, let's pull up a picture for the people that don't know. Oh, wait. Uh, hold on. We can even do... Beast Titan. That, tell me that's not a dog. Yeah, no. <laughs> you're not... You're killing... You're kicking everyone's ass. Bro, the way he oh, just... Look at that fucking head. <laughs> yeah, the way he just threw stuff at people. Remember that? Yeah. Yo, he's wild. Nah, but he got touched. Though, Yo, the guy's know. built to be destructive. Yeah, exactly. Uh, to be fair, you can say that about all of them, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't. Know, I think it gets Rodan. No, nah, Titans Rodan get the win. Ain't doing shit. I I think any Titan gets the win. Yeah, like any of those, those the special wind? Titans. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> gets the win. <laughs> <laughs> out of all the special, yeah, out of all sure. the special ones. All right, uh, let's go to the semifinals. Got to the semifinals. Oof. Okay. Bro, in the I mean, video based game, off I, every movie, the game would... I mean, the, the game might say different. Every movie will say Godzilla. Bro, in the video game, there was a mecha version of King uh, Ghidorah. I think you had to use, like, oh. hex. You had to go, like, up, right, left, uh, D, A, X, Y. Oh, it was a cheat code? Yeah, it was a cheat code. <laughs> and you got the mecha version of him, and he was OP. He was easily the best character in the game. Again, the we're not talking regular. mecha. No, but the second best character was him, the regular. So, yeah, facts. Yo, also, but I will give it... All right, I'm going to say Godzilla, but I will 100% say that King Ghidorah goes down as, like, one of the most 
the best villains of like movies or mm-hmm. just characters. He's solid. I'm gonna have to give it to King Ghidorah. Mm. Oh, okay, so what's your Could, why? Well, because he has like uh, what's the influence from like the Severus character? I'm guessing with the three heads. I'm guessing okay. that's like where they got the influence from. And man, it was just OP. Oh, I, I don't he, know. I think he could shoot lasers out of his mouth. Yeah, dude's got some powers. I mean, Godzilla can shoot like radiation and like, no, not radiation, like nuclear energy out of his mm-hmm. mouth. Yeah, but so and then can Ghidorah can do some other shit. Yeah. Yeah, and he can fly. He's got two and tails. He can fly. And he's got three heads. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and he's not from Earth. Like, I don't know. Godzilla definitely right. more of a staple, right. but for sure. Yeah, I'll give it to King Ghidorah. I'll concede on that. Final right. semi We got, all right, Mothra versus. Did we specify the Titan? Sorry, I forgot. Uh, I guess we're going Beast Titan. Beast Titan? Ooh. First Mothra? Martha? Mothra shoots like poison, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was like, ooh. I'm going Can Mothra. Can that take down the Beast Titan? It's, it could definitely hang. <laughs> definitely hang. Yo, if <laughs> we're talking like, it. she's like the B to the Beast Titan. You know what I mean? Like, you don't like the stinger, like, you don't want to get stung. <laughs> You know what I mean? So you could I definitely like live your life like avoiding it. Mm-hmm. Yo, also Mothra got the two little, the two little women from her that island that like worship her, and they came out of nowhere. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't recall. Yo, the introduction of Mothra in the Godzilla movies is before you even meet Mothra. There's these two little women that literally are like this big, mm-hmm. and they come from this island, the Mothra Island, I guess. And these Asian dudes find him. And it's like, oh no! Look up like Mothra twins. And uh, yeah, yo, they're like this. They're like a few inches tall, and like they, they these dudes find them, and she's like, we're like we're coming to help Mothra because or whatever. They sing this song, and they're, it's so wild. This is what I'm talking about. It's so wild. <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna have to be Mothra. Yeah, I'm giving it to Mothra. It's too much. Too much good times. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Okay. Oh finale. shit! I was not expecting this. All right, King Ghidorah. Yo, you were when we were making this bracket. Everybody goes, "Wait, we can't put Godzilla or Kagedate. They were automatically win." <laughs> I said, "Not necessarily." <laughs> None of them are even in the final. Kagedate <laughs> didn't make the first round. Oh, all right. So King Ghidorah versus Mothra. Yeah, I'm gonna have to show you Mothra's fucking final special attack in that game. Mothra. the hell? Where you can find it. Yo, her, it's, oh, no, nah, this is not it at all. You're on the images, too. You're not yeah, watching the video. I'm messing everything up. Uh, it's going to be too hard to find. Scott Pilgrim, damn. <laughs> yeah, this going to be too hard to find. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say Ghidorah. Got to pick these two. I think in a fight, Ghidorah's definitely going to win. But Mata was just special. Who looks cooler? Not based on these two pictures, just like in general. Mothra got a cool visual. Is Mothra she'd be a chick? doing, she'd be doing like, she'd be like glowing. Yeah, she's a chick, right? And shit when she like, yeah. I think that's dope. I think it's pretty sick, and the whole <laughs> island aspect of it, like, it's cool that Ghidorah's an alien and whatnot. But like, we've but seen like, you, we've seen that. Before. Yo, also, there's parts in the old movie where like the there's these human esque aliens, like they're hum- they're played by humans, but they're supposed to be aliens. Uh-huh. And they have to come to Earth to like stop Ghidorah and help the humans and shit. And that okay. introduces a whole wha- like crazy other side of the franchise. So would that be enough to sway him to? No, because the fucking island bother people are <laughs> way more in. weirder and interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they're goaded. Yeah. All right. All right. I guess Mothra's going to win. Damn, we really let Mothra win. <laughs> I'd be like, I stand by it, but damn. <laughs> yeah. All right, that, the real king of the titans. King of the queen beast. of the monsters. Oh, queen. Queen Mother, of the monsters Mother. stays queen. Okay, let's go. We're, we, are, we are women positive on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, Mother <laughs> started OnlyFans, bro. God damn it. <laughs> that consists uh, of what? <laughs> yeah, but that's a, another uh, what's bracken. Yeah. You, you, you have else? anything for... Um, but different verses or verses, I got something. I got something that like I've been waiting to talk about for a while, for years. Oh, oh. Yeah, overrated, underrated. Auto flush toilets. 
Oh, like with like the sensor? Yeah. You got like, do you have like a gripe with them? You got, yeah, like, bro. 100%. <laughs> bro, one, if you make like, if, let's say you're taking a number two and you move around any like a little bit, like your butt's getting wet with fucking doo doo water. Mm. If you make any move, if you walk in, it flushes. And the whole point is that it, it's to save money and make sure like you don't touch like the, the thing. I was kicking that shit anyway. Well, the idea is that you don't touch the nozzle that would be the, like the germ infested. Mm-hmm. But you was kicking it anyways. Like, no one actually like flicks it. Right? I see you. And like, if anything, this is wasting so That's much water. That's not true. That's not true. I'm sure a majority of people are using their hands. But you use a wash it. Well, facts. Oh, okay. We'll move on. All right. I'm going to say the toilet, it's rare. Like, I don't, I don't, it's not even something I think about. Nah, I think about this shit. <laughs> Pun intended. I would say the, <laughs> Uh, the urinal is probably a little more auto flush un- urinals. Yeah, nah, fam. I think it's a little more annoying. <laughs> How so? I don't know. I, it just I, I feel like they got the concept of that spot on. It's the toilets that's messing up. I think either. You know what? Now that you're thinking, now I'm thinking about. It, I don't like that they are telling they me when I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Yo, like if I like go like that to bend over some toilet paper, it flushes yeah. and like all the fucking the doo doo water. Well, on my butt. Let me for that. Let me ask you. Uh, well, actually, I'll put this in the uh, auto sinks. The faucet. That's a little annoying too. But yo, the that soap thing where you gotta like you got move, you're moving your hand trying to get the right spot. And, and all then that. by the time you come back, the the sink turned off. The water, yeah. <laughs> like the auto timer for that came off. And then you're like juggling the soap in your hands, and you don't want to. And the soap else. be giving out too much or too little sometimes. Bro. And what about the auto? The paper towel. That should it, it it's never gives like, you enough. <laughs> yeah, right. It's more like the fucking McFlurry machines at McDonald's are more reliable. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, yeah. <laughs> no, but my thing with the auto toilets, or I guess urinals too, is like it doesn't save water. It's bad for water too because it's just flushing. It's for flushing like too much. Movements. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think heavily overrated. Okay. Maybe even Yo, retire. Let me, let me tell you. Ooh. I don't, mm. Let's go back to regular know. toilets. Let's I definitely don't to, like touching any, you know, part. Oh, let's go back to just uh, holes in the floor. Like, That'd how, be interesting <laughs> to try. Yeah, that's what we. That's what uh, people do in like in like Bangladesh and everything. Oh yeah, they have like no, actual sure toilets too, but like they yeah. like they they have like me, a, like a toilet set up on the floor. That's pretty interesting. Like a hole in the wall in the floor. In the floor, like I don't know how like, how to describe it. Like, holes, <laughs> toilet, hole in floor, on, floor. <laughs> This, oh, yeah, right here, right here. This is perfect. <laughs> Look at these. That's interesting. Like, and like you literally just like squat. You just down be on squatting. These. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, that's like a healthier way. I believe it. I 100, I 100% believe it. There's yeah, something not, about like the center of gravity when yeah. you're like. That should be grime you look at. Bro, <laughs> bro, thanks for the bad memory. <laughs> but imagine that was in like a nice. I was just like, you just where's your toilet? You're look just look down. <laughs> yeah. All right. You you had one. Well, I was gonna say, uh like how do you feel about bidets? Versus it, what's it what's that? You know, the shit that cleans your butt with water. Oh, like the um, the little squirt. <laughs> like the button? Like well, a, I get the concept in general. It? Uh I think they're they're necessary. See, I yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I got um, I think my brother ordered. Yeah, my brother ordered it. He like he got like a an attachment one. That you just put on your toilet. Oh, what the hell? You like take off the seat, you put it under the seat, and then you put it back on. So it's kind of yeah. I I know every yo. I know every brown person has this shit. If you're brown and listening, they ha- it's like a little like garden water dispersant thing. Yeah, like where you like put water yeah. in it. Like you're meant to like use it for the garden. We had that next to every one of our toilets, <laughs> and you like you just put that on your ass, bro. Changes the entire bathroom experience for the and better. Like, it's so much more cleaner, kind of like way cleaner. And then you paper way towel less, after that. Way less or, paper uh, used. Paper. Yeah. Yep. You might be in there for a little longer because you got to like dry. And there are ones that like do dry, it, mm-hmm. like have the dryer function. Mm. My cheap little one does not. So I'm, I sit there for a little bit, wait to dry. But yo, I saw some uh, crazy TikTok like theory thing where they're like, they explain why toilet paper faces the way it does. Because if the f- open flap faces like forward, 
people use 33% more toilet paper than if it was facing the other way around. So wait, hold on. So like, say this is the wall. And, and like, it's, it's going through or over? If it's going over, people use more toilet paper. That's why they make designs mm. to make it the way you instinctually put it that way. So that you use more toilet paper and then you go through quicker, thus spending more money on toilet paper. I never thought about that. I always knew there was like kind of like, like that small debate about which way it should go. Like if you want to save toilet paper mm. like unconsciously, have it the other way. Where like hmm. it goes through the wall. Because like, That's think about it. If you're pulling it that way, like a whole thing doesn't fucking like come out. But if you're pulling it the front way, oh, okay. mad like, toilet yeah, paper comes out. Come out. Like then hmm. you're like, oh, I might use like fucking four, four squares to the wipe instead of three. And then over time I that shit adds up. Genuinely have never <laughs> considered that. I would have never thought of that if I wasn't on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just moving on. It's crazy. We didn't even talk about fucking weed being legal in New York. We talked about it last week. Oh, but like now it's like, it happened. Oh, no, yeah. No, yo. I'm just saying, man, yo, man, went to, man, man went to the street and then did it for the first time. Like, with no pressure. That shit felt weird. Yeah. That shit felt weird. I, I still feel like it's illegal. It's it's like in me. It's like, I should, yo. Yo, wasn't that hide. like part of the fun, like growing up? Well, like, that's like the whole, like, kids are not going to know the stories. Like, the, we're going to be t- telling our kids, like, yo, you don't know what we had to do for you. They're going to look at us like we're fucking crazy. Like, why would you do that? Right. It's just like, like, why would you go meet some fucking sketch dude that you barely know? And oh, like, indeed. and it's like, that's what you did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, so some people probably have stories how they got robbed, scammed, you got oregano, blah, blah, blah. Like, the good yo, old days. Thank God I've never had, like, a bad <laughs> yeah, situation. Yeah, I've but had like some even, sketchy situations. Even without like that, it's like, yo, I had to go, like, we, me and the boys always had to go to, like, the stairwell or, like, Sus Alley. Yeah. Like, now it's, like, on the street? In front of people? In a store? <laughs> in a store. <laughs> like, it, it makes no sense. Like, it's too easy. Uh, well, my thank friend, God. It, th- like, thank God it happened. Thank God this is, like... My friend Alden was saying that... Um, shout out Alden. He's probably here. This was... Um, this is, like, the first time he feels, like, old. Oh. Where like yeah. I there's a generational change right now that mm-hmm. just happened just by the one law. Where like we never experienced like because that was like that was a part of like so many people's lives definitely in New York City. Even yeah. if you're not a smoker now, but like back then, like even if you just chill with people who smoke. I feel like it's not gonna hit me that it's legal until I walk into the store, mm, into like the when dispensary, and I start walk out up. with the bag and I can walk in like it's CVS or 7-Eleven and just grab my thing and go. Oh, my God. I wonder how the prices are going to be. I don't know how it works in other states, like if it's more expensive. I feel like it would be more expensive. It has to be. Because that's too good to be true. Right. And it's also... It's cheaper. We, like, this is the beauty of it. You know you're getting better, bud. Yo, wait, the government's just about finesses, bro. Like, you know how we always made fun of, like, those those white people with the... Who wear like vineyard vines and they copy yeah. like eights for like for like a hundred? Yeah, the Spencer's about to do that to all of us, bro. <laughs> Yo, eight hundred. <laughs> Drop that shit right now. <laughs> Bet, yeah, yeah that's I all think I that's a pod. Say. We've been going for a while. That's a cast, yeah, yeah. Uh, not uh, sure yeah. what's in store for next week. Uh, nah, we have a we should have a good one going. Should okay, yeah. We should have, have a good one. We have those guests. Oh, okay, that's the. I'm okay, not gonna yeah, spoil yeah, nothing. Yeah. That is next week, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what happens. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, but thank you guys for listening. Yeah. A little bit low energy, this podcast. So much bad yeah, news. Yeah, sorry. It is what my it throat, is. My, my fucking voice hurts. Not my throat, yeah. balls. It's a Sunday today. We're Yeah, recording we're on Sunday. Down. Okay. Right. Got the Sunday scaries. Yeah. All right. Uh, yo, guys, right. don't forget to share the love. And talk to yo, you guys soon. Our dislike button's still working, so... Yeah, it's there if you want to. Dis- I, hey, wait, no one's dislike <laughs> yet. Don't do that. Feel free. <laughs> uh, yeah. Peace out, Austin. Right. Peace out, everyone. Peace. Peace.